All right, hey, Shalom Akiyam. <clears throat> First and foremost, like to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakak Badash, the honest to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. And we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Samo Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. In accordance with the Holy Scriptures, we're God chosen people. Shalom to all the brothers out there, pushes knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters and shalom to Israelite foreigners who are scattered abroad. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one ignorantly called Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> and what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one ignorantly called God, the one ignorantly called Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. And when you call upon the Most High and the Son, you must say Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh means he exists, the existing one, Bahashem means in the name, and Yahweh Shai means he delivers. Our Lord and Savior has come back to deliver the elect out of the nation of Israel upon the destruction of the modern-day Babylon, a.k.a. America. All right, coming back at you with another lesson through the Holy Spirit. Giving all praise to Yahweh by Shemir Shai for this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And give us the eyes to see and ears to hear. <clears throat> this is from one of all the beloved elders um, in, um, in Connecticut. His Instagram page will not... And uh, I ran to this video yesterday, and I, and, you know, I actually sent it out. And it's just, it's, it's funny how information passed so fast in, in Israel. And what you're looking at, man, like it says, truth is, is stranger than fiction. You understand what I'm saying? So what you see in this artificial moon pods, I'm going to let it play. But I was wondering, you see how crazy this shit is, man. This goddamn devil <clears throat> is going to get a foot up his ass, man. You understand? He has a God uh, complex. And pretty much he has the capabilities of, of doing these things. Because the Most High gave him a lot of power. All right? Okay, you guys need to check this out. Artificial wombs. This is the artificial womb facility. A place where humans could be grown entirely from scratch. The devices you see here are called growth pods. Each growth pod is designed to replicate the same conditions that exist inside the mother's uterus. Growth pods are designed to host human fetuses until they are fully developed. These artificial wombs are designed to help premature babies to continue developing after their birth. But emerging scientific research is making it possible them to create designer humans entirely from scratch and that's a fact man <clears throat> you understand what i'm saying so they've been doing these things um so a lot of these movies are dealing with cloning and things things of that nature is real so this you know if any of you brothers and sisters out there ever saw the movie the first matrix this is exactly what they want that's that's their enterprise no longer human beings will be will be um made through sex through man and woman growing in laboratories, you know, and they can enhance them. They can do whatever they want to do with them. So we got news for you, man. The Most High got the prophets on the four corners of the earth, and this is not going to work, Esau. Your ass going to get smashed, man, in one hour. Here it's out of the movie Matrix. The human body generates more bioelectricity than a one hundred twenty. Battery and over 25,000 BTUs of body heat. Combined with a form of fusion, the machines had found all the energy they would ever need. There are fields, endless fields, where human beings are no longer born. We are grown. That's that hey, that's their enterprise. This is their whole new world order. Um <laughs> and this is what they want to do, man. You understand what I'm saying? So therefore the Lord, you know, got everything set up in this perfect sequence. 
And it's perfect timing to throw this man down off the fucking high horse he's in. Because what what this is um what he's trying to do is totally go against the Heavenly Father and his son creation. You know, the creation of the earth, um, the sun, the moon, the animals, mankind itself, which was created on the fifth day. He trying to get on that level, but using the machines. But it's not going to work because it's artificial and it's, and it's synthetic. And the Heavenly Father do not <laughs> and will not allow this to happen. And the reason why I say do not, because I was going to say the Heavenly Father is not with this. The Heavenly Father gave this man over, over to strong derisions. That they should believe a lie to make it very, very dramatic before he take his ass down, man, out of power for good. You understand what I'm saying? It's all different types of movies you probably saw during your journey. Human cloning, all that stuff is real. All that stuff is real, but it's to, it's to no avail. It cannot work. It cannot sustain life. It's going to break down. Because the ultimate um, perfection is going to be what Yahweh Shai is going to give. The elect, the small remnant, <clears throat> the ones that's been chosen to make it on this first dominion, when he gives these new bodies. That that's the ultimate uh perfection right there, man. So Esau is trying to um create his own immortality through through machines. Gen genetically manipulating human beings and all that crazy stuff, man. So to so to where, you know, we all have a conscience, a spirit. They're, they're, they're those pods, whatever the fucking things are, they're gonna have this, the spirit of Esau on them through artificial intelligence. <laughs> so hell no, nah, that's not gonna work according to the holy scriptures, man. So we just, you know, once again, man, the Heavenly Father got his men giving you the insight, the proper breakdown. Dude, this is very, very serious, man. Uh Psalms 58 and 1, it says, Do he indeed speak righteousness? O congregation, do he judge uprightly, O he sons of men? Yea, in heart he work wickedness. He weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. And that's how, <clears throat> I'm sorry, that's how Esau been, been ruling. By weighing violence in the earth. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go forth, I'm sorry, are estranged from the womb. They go astray. As soon as they be born speaking lies. You see? So the Heavenly Father got a class, a, a group of people, a classification of, of, of um, spirits out here known as the wicked. And all they are based upon speaking lies. And they've been set up to go against the Most High. That's fucking crazy, man. You see? So imagine this man, you know, won this war. We all be fucked. That's what the Wadi Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai for Yahweh Shai, man. For, for this truth. You know? And many people going to fall, you know, fall in line because they know how to play on the minds of the people with this whole metaverse, virtual reality. I saw one video um, was recommended in the YouTube world, watched by a beloved brother. And um, pretty much the virtual reality, you're going to be able to... to uh, Speak to like your dead relatives and all that crazy shit. It's fucking bugged out. <laughs> it says their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stop it her ear. So the poison is what? Everything they've been doing that's against the most high, man. It's literally poison. You know, it's, 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 it's a poisonous way of thinking, living, breathing. You know, financially. Um, the the way the earth is ran right now. You know, if the earth, if the earth is it will it say say for instance, this rulership is able to continue. Life itself would not exist. That's how serious this shit is, man. All right, which it says which will not hearken to the voice of charmers, charming never so wisely. It says break their teeth, <clears throat> with your teeth represents their power. The military might, the technological advance, uh, systems, and information. It says, break their teeth, O God, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Yahweh. Let them melt away as the wa as waters which run continually. When he bent his bow to shoot his arrows, let them be 
as cut in pieces and what's going to cause you know elements to melt bows to shoot arrows right that's dealing with what the nuclear missiles man because they break their teeth and that's what's getting ready to happen like get, get the fuck out of here bro <coughs> you know so that movie uh the first two matrix is a much what is is a must watch in his faith you know the spirit hop on you and the first two terminators the lady sophia stewart broke it down man this is deadly serious so the heavenly father got you know Movies out there to give you a better understanding, give you better insight. You jump on it, man. It's for your betterment. That's going to sharpen your tools and your understanding to bring it out to the rest of the um, the elect. It says, let them melt away as waters which run continually. So when the most High bring this drama to you devils, man, it's going to be on a continuous basis within the first thousand years, man. We're going to, man, he bent it. When he bent at his bow to shoot his arrows, dealing with the nuclear missiles, let them be as cut in pieces, meaning totally destroyed, melt away. As a snail which melted, let every one of them pass away, like the untimely birth of a woman, that they may not see the sun. And that's, that's yo, that's perfect hatred King David got for these devils. And it makes fucking sense why he, why he will write something, something so profound. He says, as a snail which melted, let every one of them pass away. Because if, if, they, if their rulership continue, that's what the fuck they want to do. That's madness, bro. That is not, that is not, um, that, that, that's, yo, that's some far out stuff, man. That is not in concordance with the book of Genesis of the creation, man. You understand what I'm saying? Like the untimely birth of a woman that they may not see the sun. Open their eyes to breathe, to live. <laughs> it says, before your pots can fill the thorns, he shall take them away as with a whirlwind. But living and in his wrath, the righteous shall rejoice when see the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked, man. And that's what's getting ready to happen. Through Yahweh Shai and the angelic forces, we're going to wash our feet in the blood of the wicked. What kind of fuckeries is that? Excuse my language. That's madness, man. I mean, of course, brothers had the ideas and talk amongst each other. Now everything is coming to the forefront. The most size and live people to see, like, look, this is very, this is some in-depth stuff. If you're not part of the elect, you're pretty much screwed, man. That's how serious this is. So that a man shall say, verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a God that judges the earth. So great judgment is coming to the earth because the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked. Just like the days of Noah, the Mosai, the first uh, judgment was by, by water. He drowned everything <laughs> except Noah and his family. And this one is going to be with fire and laser beams from these chariots, which you people call UFOs. That's going to melt you. Okay, because it's rightfully so. <laughs> oh man, let me get Psalm sixty-eight. Some verses from here. It says, "Um, let God arise; let His enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate thee flee before Him." And that's what's going to happen to you, devils, because they really hate the Most High, man. So they're going to be going to think themselves to be like the Most High, you know. At Thessalonians, as smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melted before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of the Most High. I was going to cause that, that nuclear uh, destruction. As wax melted before the fire. That's a heavy statement. So let the wicked perish at the presence. And that's what's getting ready to happen. That's why they got deep underground military bases. Super soldiers, robotic suits, you know, they get ready to perish, man. But the most sides put the, in their mind to fight and gear up to, for the war to end all wars, man. One realm versus another realm. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before the most high. Yeah, let them 
exceedingly rejoice. The water, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. And we're going to be praising the Most High, man. Once he get us up out of here. Sing unto the Most High. Sing praises to his name. Extol him that ride upon the heavens by his name. It says Jah here, but it's Yahweh. And rejoice in him. So we should know there is no J's in the Paleo Hebrew. So when it says Jah here, it's Yah. Then you go to the root etymology right here, Yahawa. Right there, that's how it links up. All right? So giving all praises, I'm sorry, a father of the fatherless and a judge of the widows. So is God in his holy habitation. All right? So he's a father to the fatherless. He's getting ready to judge the earth and judge the wicked because they, they, pff, come on, man. Life itself will not exist under this devil. All right. So the most I created the earth, this planet for life to exist in peace and harmony. So that's part of the kingdom. Shalom.